Hello everyone, Savage Gamer 1998 here, and yes, I am doing another GameCube video. I think it's been quite a while since I've done one of those. And you can see here, this is my third GameCube with the digital AV port. There's my second one up there, and my other one is set up in the game room. You can see I'm putting the finishing touches on it. I've replaced the disk drive because the think something in the uh, internals of the CD drive was junk. I tried replacing the laser. In fact, this is the new laser that I got in the mail from eBay. So basically, I think that disk drive was just flat out junk. And the reason you see oh, the white um, painted game cube controller port cover and the reason you don't see the memory card doors is because I actually have a retro writing station as you can see I am in the process I don't know if you can really see it that well in the process of retro writing you probably yeah you probably cannot see that but those doors one of them's under the GameCube controller port covers. The um, memory card door, you guessed it, it was yellowed. And I have the connections to my TV. I've screwed the whole drive back in. The, this is not the original GameCube controller board, by the way. Um, the other, the original board is sitting at my workbench. I just temporarily have this hooked up because I'm waiting for that to finish. But hopefully tomorrow I'll finish retro writing that thing. Gonna give it 24 hours. So I'll see you guys in the next part. Alright, so I've got the GameCube controller ports back in their place, and now let's see about hooking it up to my television. Oh, hold on. I... If any of you wondered how you put to get, put the GameCube back together, they use these stupid bit screws security bit screws just dropping them in there yeah now I'm just gonna screw them back in but this drive has been replaced last night by the way don't think I can do this with my left hand All right my phone's about out of storage so I guess I'll just let it stop recording All right, we got the GameCube connecting right now. And sorry about the darkness. Let me turn the light on. Oh, there's that power plug. We're gonna turn the VCR on. All right, turn it on. And of course it's gonna go through that thing because the battery's dead. And I'm just gonna click no.
All right, I have a have a game I'm going to test this with. Yes, of course I got to use my favorite game in the series. And in case you wondered, purple controller, purple GameCube, makes sense, right? Makes sense that I would use that. Oh, my dang camera cannot zoom in. Well, I guess you'll just be looking at... Well, I guess you'll just be looking at the TV from there. through the Green Hill level. Okay. Just made it. Select the stage. And we're going to play Pumpkin Hill, of course. I deserve to turn the TV up. That hint box.
hope you enjoy the view of my head because you're probably going to see it at times. No, because I already got an A rank. on the train. It was on that train. Yeah, this is perfect. No knuckles, it's not. Alright. With all that said and done, I think I give this project a double thumbs up. In fact, why don't I just look at the memory cards? Why don't I? Okay, the memory card slots are working. Yep. All the buttons are... So, yep. Everything is working now. So of course, I think that jewel could use a nice cleaning. I think that jewel could could use a cleaning because it gets really scratched. I'm gonna try to find a solution to fix that. If not, I might just replace the entire jewel because this system works now. But yeah, those scratches are just you know, ugh. just ugh. So yeah, I will see you guys later, bye.